today we're going to be talking about the three Sonic games that was announced today. First one is Sonic Colors Ultimate. It's a remaster of the Wii and DS game titled, you know, Sonic Colors. It comes out for Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, PC. It, and apparently, it's only 40 bucks compared to the usual, you know, 60 or now $70 that companies are charging us now. I gotta say, based on, like, the 1 minute 40 trailer or whatever they show, it, it looks pretty good. It looks visually stunning for a, you know, Wii game that's getting remastered. I played the DS version. I never played the console version, so I guess if there was any changes between the two, which I think there was, so it should be interesting to see what else they got. And apparently new features, too, like a, uh, like a digital deluxe version. Apparently new new features too, so I'm comes out September seventh, twenty twenty one. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Next up, Sonic Origins Collection. I'm gonna make this quick. It's coming out sometime in twenty twenty two. Merges Sonic one, Sonic two, Sonic three, Sonic CD, and Sonic and Knuckles. So five. So technically five games because. Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles are technically together if you go back to the Genesis days. Because originally Sonic 3 was just balls combined, but they're split in two. So hopefully they have the ability to switch them. Now, like I said, no platforms announced yet, but coming in coming next year. And finally, this new thing. There was a that now he is supposed to post on Twitter. So anyway, this is the said leak. It was it's apparently it's a open world populated with small enemies, puzzles and platforming challenges. Completing puzzles challenges re enemies reward EXP, which can be redeemed in a skill tree. Skill tree unlocks like the spin cycle, where when you hold Y, Sonic starts tracing a line behind him. And if you finish the circle, it attacks all enemies inside the circle. Lock on attack returns, of course. There are bosses sp sp spread through the open world, defeating them grand orbs. If you get enough orbs, you can go to a portal and go to cyberspace. Cyberspace levels are generation style and the music goes hard. Beating them fast of grants chaos emeralds. Exploration and combat was super boring. Very bun mashy, but whatever. New voice acting by by Roger and no one else was present, so they're definitely sticking the general theme at least. Now, for the final, I think. After gathering all the emeralds, you can then cut through a thick fog you couldn't before in an open world or in the. Gigantic tree robot thing is the boss. Fly around it as supersonic, utilizing spin cycle and other abilities, mainly mashing buttons. Can't take damage on a timer of rings. A ghost girl refill? Refills your ring count multiple times? Hmm. Demo ended after defeating the boss. The game is still definitely early on in development, but it was rough. Okay. The fact that the fact that the game Supposedly called Sonic Ranchers, which the name of that was Datamined. When people datamined the trailer, they found that. And, and Image that Polygon posted on their article about it. Actually, at the end of the URL for it, I actually specifically said Sonic Ranchers. So so that sounds like, sounds like, it sounds like this leak is real. Normally, I wouldn't consider a 4chan leak to be real, but... It's interesting nonetheless, so I'm not ruling ruling that out. So my overall thoughts, I thought it was a pretty good presentation. I definitely will be probably checking out all three projects. So you know when they come out. Anyway, I think this is it for this video. It's just a quick summary on everything we learned re regarding the three game game projects from the stream today. So I'll see you guys. So, tell me what you tell me what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.